Hi, we're Pittsburgh Paranormal Research, and we've been coded to investigate the Stone House Inn in Farmington, Virginia. This building was built in 1822 as a resort to house weary travelers along the Old Pike Highway. This property has produced multiple claims of paranormal activity, all the way from the staff to the owner. And tonight, we're going to be locked in here to find the truth that's hidden behind these walls. Okay, so we got the DVR set up now. Channel 1 is aiming down into the common area where Mr. LaRue and Mr. Pierre shot each other. Okay. And that's where the, uh, the blood-stained floors are. Okay. So we're, project or we're reporting out into that area, trying to capture anything that moves in there. Okay. And you set up Channel 2. What are we looking at here? Uh, channel 2 is the third floor, and on that banister right there is where... Um, it was reported that uh, a man hung himself. He threw the rope over the banister. Um, they told us that <clears throat> if you look, you can actually see towards the left side there, one of the banister rungs is actually kind of bowed. And uh, she's, she said that it was from uh, the hanging. And uh, she's going to try to see uh, if we can catch anything there. Also, too, um, a man uh, that worked the front door of the speakeasy that was located on the third floor. Right. He sat out front there and took uh, people's money and let them in. And the cleaning people um, claimed to find change from time to time. So we, I mean, we could even open up that door if you wanted to, just yeah. to get up to get maybe get like a little open on the uh, third floor there too. If we want to. Okay, absolutely, I agree. Um, okay, well, in the channel three. We have that set up on the second floor. Second floor. Um, now that's pointing towards a bench where they reported that they would see a girl crying. She would sit on that bench mm -hmm. and cry. She had long blonde hair. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try and capture that. And then off to the right of the frame, we have the doorway to the, uh, the madam's room mm -hmm. where a lot of prostitution went on. Yep. Um, that's also labeled uh, as the Lincoln room. Yes. Uh, Okay, and we also have a shot up the stairs to the uh, to the top floor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, camera four is pointing into this dining room here um, on the main on the main level. Okay. okay. So and the oh, shadow people. Uh, she said that they've seen some shadow figures walking. She did see a young boy this room. in um, in dainty clothing, knickers, and a long sleeve white shirt, so you know, I've seen operations moving into this uh, dining area here, so we'll try and capture anything on that. 10.35 p.m., uh, second floor covered porch, the site of LaRue and Pierre shooting each other. talk to you, Mr. LaRue, Mr. Pierre. You had a dispute out here on this porch. Now we were told that you guys were trappers. So was this, was this violent shooting a result of your trade or something else? What does it feel like right now? Are you in pain? Are you still here with us? We can see your blood stains on the floor after all these years. So, do either of you think that you could? Make a sound, uh, move something, do anything that would let Jeff and I know that you're with us right now and that you can understand what we're saying. There's a light switch right here on this wall. You're looking at where my hand is right now. If you want to talk to me and you want me to help you, turn that light switch. Turn it up. If it's pointed up right now, just point it down. Turn that light off. 
Okay, right now we're going to try what's called a video ITC experiment. Basically what we've done here is we've set up a projector onto this wall. And we've hooked a video camera into that projector and it creates a constant loop that picks up any kind of an image that passes through it. So the theory behind this experiment is that spirits, spirit energy can manipulate this infinite loop and actually show up as sometimes shadow figures uh, or humanoid type shapes within uh, this video ITC experiment. Uh, right now we are in the drawing room of Mr. Titlow, one of the former owners of the Stone House Inn, and uh, we've had a few people say that they have seen him in this room. Uh, so basically we're going to set this up uh, in the general vicinity of where they've seen him and maybe uh, we'll get lucky enough to actually see him manifest inside this ITC loop. Absolutely. Well, they've seen him sitting at this table. There have been pieces of silver removed. He has sat in this chair. And this is where we're setting up the video ITC. All right, let's go dark, Scott. If you could somehow manage to sit in your chair and use all of your energy to show yourself to us, we would be able to easily see that on the screen. If you can show us, we can help you. We can give you time and space. We can give you peace and quiet. We'll tell the owners what it is that you're looking for. We want to leave, live peaceful here. Everybody does. The current owners want to, want to be peaceful with you. They want to understand that when you're here, that they can leave you alone. See, sometimes what happens is you may be sitting in here drawing, and somebody may come into this room and be scared to see you here because they don't understand. They don't know why you're here. We're heading upstairs into Luther's room. Luther. He said there was a man up here named Luther. You were an emancipated slave? You had no reason to hide out. You came here to live and be free. This is the free north. We've come here to talk to you. We would like you to come out and talk to us. Now we can't just see you and understand you. Simple as that. We need you to make an effort to show yourself to us. All right, Luther, are you hanging out in here? It's like a little storage area here now. Is this your room? Scott and Jeff in the bottom room. We're in the Lincoln room right now. Uh, EVP session. I'm getting K2 hits on my crotch. Are you getting them? Yeah. 
if you're trying to touch me, go ahead and try, try harder. See if you can get all these lights to light up. That's what I want. We were told that this was the madam's room. And you'd like to make a little bit of money in here. Really? Did you just turn that flashlight on? Go ahead and turn it back off, please. Thank you. It was funny, like after... K2 just went up halfway. Did it really? Yeah. <clears throat> after it turned on, I felt like a little tiny cold thing of air kind of rush over my arm. I don't know if it was draft or anything at all. Can you turn that flashlight on again for us? You better get busy there or Scott's going to fall asleep on you. I'm going to count to three, and then you can turn that light off when I get down to three. And we'll start to get our money up. One. Close. Turn it back on there. I, I didn't get to three yet. Could you turn it back on? How about that green light next to it? Can you put your hand on that? On that little gray box there? Try to grab that. Good, you got the flashlight again. Very nice. You want to shut that back off on the count of three? Oh no, you're, you're, you're way too soon again. Turn that light back on. If you can get this right here, I'll, I'll, we'll quit playing this game and we'll move on. We'll do something else. We'll do whatever you want to do. Go ahead and turn that flashlight back on. All you got to do is lean over and touch it. <clears throat> I'm going to sit up here for a second. So you moved the whole, you got up and leaned up and everything and the thing didn't turn on. Yeah. I'm, there you can see <clears throat> I'm tapping all around. This, there's no way that, look I'm even rolling the flashlight. <laughs> yeah. It's not coming on. said this was Mr. Titlow's room. Is that right? Mr. Titlow, are you in here with us? You may have seen us around the building. Very nice place you have here. We really wanted to just come and talk to you though. Alright Mr. Titlow, if you're not going to talk to us in here, we're going to move on to another room. This is your loss. So we feel it would be greatly beneficial to you to speak with us tonight.
we have a little thing here with a red light on it you can talk into. <coughs> I won't be able to hear what you're saying. What we do know is that there may be an angry woman up here or somebody who doesn't like men. Is that true? If that's true, could you tell us why you would not like us? Or why you do not like men? We're two nice guys. Uh, you know, nothing to not like, I don't think. <laughs> Can you tell us your name? Can you tell us why you like being in this room so much? I want to know, why do you hate men? Why do you hate men? Was that you that just made a sound? 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 Could you do it again? It's going to take a lot more than that to scare us away. If you really want us out of here, let us know. Another sound. Right. I'm gonna wrap it. Yeah, might as well. Alright, let's wrap this room up. Huh?